Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with a special guest today. Hey, it hey, is hey. Toast for Fun, as you could already tell from the overlay <laughs> that says his name right there. <laughs> and we're here me, with I'm back. Y'all thought you got rid of me. Yeah. And well unless I got they rid saw of the You did, you took yourself out of the equation. Uh Toast is of course we go way back during Modcast. If you watch the uh Frosty the Snowman special. He was one of the little kids in there. Heck and, yeah, that was some good good shit. Yeah, it was. It was very good. <laughs> but, but today we're going to be playing some Binding of Co-op. Binding of Co-op. The Binding of Isaac Co-op Repentance. <laughs> we'll be using Toast's file because as you can see here, Toast has basically 100% played the game to the point where the people are asking him to stop playing the game. Heck yeah, there it is. Um, can you see the Steam overlay? Uh, not currently, because it says, please hold while you're templated to save. Oh, there okay, go. okay. Well, I was trying to show up the Steam overlay. I got, I got 100%. Yeah. I got 1,000 hours in this game. I think I'm a certified expert. Yes, and I've got about 18 hours total. <laughs> now, luckily, that's from, like, my freshman year of high school up till now. That was not a recent all-in-1,000 hours. Mm -hmm. I'd hope not. And I forget how much old Binding of Isaac is counted because I played it came a lot out of in like one. 2013. I want to say some 2013, 2014. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll be doing a run here. Um, I'll uh, let. Who do I want to play as? You can play as whoever you like. I'm gonna do something really stupid. I'm playing as Dark Judas. Okay. Also, the connection may be a little bit unstable. As you can see here, all that means is that Toast will have to win with. A teammate who may not 100% understand what is going on. Let me see. Samson is the one who gets stronger... When he takes damage. I feel like that'd be good for me, but also I don't want to take any You damage. could also do a Zazel. He's kind of an easy character. Which He's one's a demon-looking one. This one, one right here? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll pick a He has a short one. brimstone laser if you hold. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, pretty peace. Oh, so yeah, is, does he only have the laser? Yeah. Okay. Using the ultimate, I still found a way to take damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait for my item to recharge real quick. It's a pretty yeah. sick item. One of my favorite characters now. And I can't even use the item in here. Really? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, there's no enemies. Here we go. So, bets on if I'm able to uh, actually survive. <laughs> What just happened? Did you just do like an anime sword cut? Yeah, so pretty much a dark arts is an active item, which is actually in my card slot pretty much. Um, Wait, that item, you can take that item if you want. I'm not a fan of it. What does this do? You pretty much cut your head off and your head will stay where you cut it and you can move your body. So how do I do that? Just press in the... Whatever your space bar? space bar item item was like, oh god, my game just crashed. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> we literally did a perfect run where everything went perfectly fine, and we we, even, we beat Blue Baby. It was all good. And the second we turned on the recording, three minutes in, if I fucking all right. One moment, pause. Uh, I can start right now as I fix things. Let me quickly... People need to see how I suffer for my art. There we go. Do you want to restart the recording? <laughs> no. I refuse. Alright. Zazel. So here's the thing. Right. I have three black hearts instead of regular hearts. Yeah. You can get red hearts, but you start with three blacks. Gotcha. I start with two. Right, well, luckily, we know the first floor a little bit. We know to avoid the curse room and the item room. If we skip the item room, we can get a planetarium Ooh. on the next, which has All some right. pretty good stuff. So we're basically confirming that we think that item is what broke the game. Yeah. Because everything was perfectly fine until I tried to chop my head off. Yeah. I, I forget I can't fly this. anymore. Why, Toast? I was I had to over. blow it up. <laughs> you I'm... saw me shooting at it. I was literally over it. You we were about doing... to die on the first floor. <laughs> literally did a perfect run. I'm about Could to not... carry. 
You did such a hard carry. We're skipping the story beats. Oh god, what the hell is this thing? I'm gonna die to this guy. Should I use my card, by the way? I don't know what it does. No, that teleports us to the starting room. Alright, well, things go bad. Oh, so you can only damage him. Yeah. Um, you probably want that. Oh, so make my brimstone higher? Um, yeah, it should give you, uh, a little bit more range on brimstone. Um, let's just go. Okay. And we'll watch the story beats just for you. Oh, yeah, he's got a wig. He gets laughed at. It's very sad. You should not do very that. Very tragic. You should not do that to a person. Support them for whatever they're going through. Controversial statements here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that one's not that one's not a joke. No, it's not. It's just funny because I laugh. Happy Pride Month. I <laughs> love my homies. Love them all. I, we have to. I have to say that without laughing because now people are just gonna assume I'm an asshole. <laughs> it sounds but it's so not. bad. It does. But no. But seriously, respect people. Come on. It's not that hard. It's literally not that hard. All right, let's go. Speaking of not that hard, Binding of Isaac is a pretty easy game. You really do have a crazy anime sword. Yeah. So pretty much for every an enemy or projectile I hit with this, I. Uh, it does more damage as it hits more enemies through, and I uh, gain a damage boost, a temporary damage boost. You can see on the left, my damage is going back down. Oh, I see. We should probably go look for the item room and the planetarium if we got one. We have a 20% yeah. chance for it. I also need uh, a way to get back a heart or something, man. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> The situation- Oh, do I get a little tiny brimstone? I do! Yeah, it does 0.5 damage, though. Ah, who cares? I don't have to care about dying anymore. I can take these bombs to the face. Yo! I fuck with chocolate milk. Alright. Oh, so because now there's not two people, you only get one of the items. Well, so that's actually, that's a special item room layout where you just happen to get two choices. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing I died early, so that means... Technically, uh, if we timed it right, we could both get an item in there if we got the pedestal at the exact same time. Ooh. Well. Man, literally, we could have found the room that would have saved my life. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll just head into the, uh, boss here. Oh, do we have both have brimstone? No. Oh, okay, I, no, you have So chocolate else. milk lets me charge my tier. If I charge it fully, I believe it does, like, 400% of my damage. Jesus. Chocolate milk And then strong. I can also just spam it for, like, normal tiers. Hmm. Alright, I got these guys. These top hats. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got a mod something. that gives these guys a top hat. It's great. Oh, they don't start with top. How did I come back alive? Uh, you respawn after a boss. Should I get this? Uh oh! Start running around. Mom's coming. Will I die? Coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Toast. Thank you for. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> To Things keep are, running. This is a lovely room of death. And then you ran right into it. I didn't All run right. In. So do you want to go down a similar path we went before? Or should I show you the repentance added path? Sure, let's go repentance. I haven't seen All any right, of so this. So. Is a, this is new territory for repentance. This was also... There's a mod called Anti-Birth, right? Yes. Fan-made mod, lots of content. Repentance is honestly heavily based on it. And I'm pretty mm. sure they got the actual dev to... Like, the actual dev team for Anti-Birth to work on Repentance, which really? is really sick. That's nice. It, it, this really yeah, is one shout of Shout out the to the modding community. I love those guys. It's really crazy that one of the most supported games in probably all of video game history is Binding of Isaac. Yeah, there's a lot of good mods. There's a lot of sick character mods. Um, 
I remember specifically, there's a lot of JoJo character mods. No, that Which actually, like, incorporate stands. Oh, so do they become, like, little buddies? Yeah! I know Josuke has- I know there's a Josuke mod that has, uh, his stand. There's a Dio one. I think there is a Jotaro one. There's probably one for, like, every character. Yeah. I remember Jonathan and young Joseph having mods, too. Do they have the, the fucking strength gorilla? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's where they draw the line. <laughs> the gorilla doesn't no get gorilla. at it. No gorilla. No. I need, a, I need a flying gorilla mod for uh, Isaac. Oh no, that's the true. That that's what we need is actually a, another video, a sick collab with my brother where we just watch him play flying gorilla <laughs> for longer than thirty <laughs> seconds. Because all his flying gorilla videos are like thirty seconds long. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Heck, speaking of, I was in Nux's last video. Go check him out. Great dude. Yeah, go check out my brother Nux. He's more than just uh, a guy I summon with on uh, Fago. He's also my brother. <laughs> <laughs> he is not my brother, but he is a very good friend. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how he uh, co-opted you for me. The second he found out, he's like, all right, I'm taking it. Mm, now, you know, just for Nux, Nux would want me to take the fellas. <laughs> this is a, a pro Nux run, so all only fellas will be picked? No, I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to get more than just fellas, but... No, you won't get the items, it's just troll bombs. Am I seriously just Ooh, always going to be losing pain? <laughs> if you keep dying, I guess. I mean, I'm already dead. The issue is you respawn with half a heart, so... Yeah, you I... You are a little <laughs> stuck on that. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna always come back with half a black heart, right? So uh, I'm just gonna... I think half a spirit heart, not even black heart. They're not even that generous. What is the difference between the two? Uh, so a black heart, when you lose a black heart, it will deal full room damage. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes like sense. that. Like, I took a hit and... Go ahead and take that. I <laughs> That'll give you... Ooh. Some HP. We have one thing to do before we can leave. Okay. I have to... So, this gray fire here, if I run into it... I am now the lost. What? <laughs> and so what we're gonna do now is this room with the mirror, I can now enter said mirror. And we're in a parallel version of the floor. And we need to do this for one specific reason. Okay. Yeah, there's a specific key item that uh, is in this mirrored area that we need. So if we go to the item room here, we get the first knife piece. And there's only two. In Anti Birth, there was three from what I've heard. But they changed it for Repentance, and it's now two. Okay. One less thing to worry about. Yeah. But now that we got that, let's go check out the shop really quick, see what it has. Um, uh, well, I guess we can buy the bomb. <laughs> we can buy the bomb. Um, uh, we'll, we'll buy the deck of cards. Why not? I got death. Um, don't go down there. We're gonna have to bomb this door. Twice. And we can go to the next alt path. Alright. So we were in the Dross, which the main floor is called the Downpour. That was the alt version of it. And now we can head to the mines. Or the ash pit. What is going on? Oh, okay, it's ash. I was like, why is everything so grainy now? Oh god. Stay away. I only got half a heart. We have one and a half hearts now. Yeah, don't tell uh, them that, though. We don't have keys. 
Perfect. Who needs them? God damn it! <laughs> Did I die again? No. Here, I, was... I can go into curse rooms for free. Um, I don't know if I can get that for free, but we will test it. Nope. So um. I will wait for this to recharge. Alright. Just another thing that makes uh, Dark Arts insanely busted. Oh, shells! Damn it! Aww. Oh. Down I go again. Am I gonna get respawn with my <laughs> no heart again? I don't know. Because I honestly have not really played co op until this. Fair enough. Uh. It's gonna be real fun. It will just be a, ne a never ending cyclone of me just constantly dying right at the boss room. Right before Let's see we can what get this to the card. Game. Is this is a reverse? Oh, <laughs> yo! Oh, what is going on with these dudes? All right, this is a sick item. Trisgion? What in the name of hell is that? So Trisagion is, I think, how it's pronounced. Uh, it turns my tears into these kind of brimstone-like lasers. They do less damage per tick, but they have a high DPS because, you know, they just constantly stay on enemies and do a lot of damage. Yeah, that seems pretty nice. Um, this is a fella. I gotta, I gotta do it for Nux. Nux the homie, he would want me to take the fellas. Nux, if you're watching this, say, you did it for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nux doesn't watch my videos. Oh, no. Well, he's got to <laughs> watch this one. It's me. It's true. If he does it, then he's fake. Fake fan. Fake fan. Fake brother. Fake bro. Sick. Um, justice. justice is pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna pop the battery. Hierophant, that's good. That's a pretty good trinket. I'm hoping for a very specific item because there is actually just a one item break. With Dark Judas, funnily enough. There is an item called the uh, Converter, right? And it's supposed to convert, I want to say, one or two soul hearts into one red heart. Uh huh. However, uh, Dark Judas is. He literally can't get red hearts. If you get an item that gives you a red heart container, it will give you a dark heart. Well, and you can abuse. Good. You can abuse this by uh, just spamming the converter, and what it'll do is it'll keep constantly getting rid of your Dark Heart, which means it does full room damage. Classy. I, yeah. I, I, I want to run against one of the main new bosses by just uh, spamming Spacebar. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That's the fun of uh, these games with just like the weirdest item combinations. Yeah. Come on. Come oh on. no. Don't worry, I got this guy. With my 1.0 something damage. I came back to life. Uh, you can go ahead and take that. Cool. I will take this one, though. It's fine. Um, we got the item room. I think we're good. There's not a knife piece here. There is on the next floor. We have to do a special puzzle, which actually you will be really good for. Also, I guess I should explain that. I have a mod that disables curses. After 900 hours, I got fucking tired of curses. Yeah, no, no worries about that. I don't play the game as much, and I wouldn't mind not having curses. Curse of the Lost blows. Curse of the Unknown's okay. Curse of the Blind sucks. Curse of the Maze is annoying. 
I can just get this key. You can also just get the spirit heart. Cool. Everything's working out now. So, uh, we're gonna look really quickly for the last switch, and I'm gonna pretty much exploit you to get right. through the, seek the new area. Not the first time I've been exploited, not the last. <laughs> uh, pretty much because you have flight, you will be very useful. Go press that button, because you can fly. Please! Oh no! What happened? We both took damage. My bad on I need, that. I, I needed you to go press the button. I didn't know where the button was. <laughs> I was I, you should have told me that before we entered the room, not when I was in the room. I didn't realize we had to press the button until we got in the room. Oh I probably should have went for it. You were closer to it than I was. Oh. That is a fella. But that's also a pog item. Is that uh, why we're making that face? Yeah, so if you can see next to like the item name, there's a number. This one's three. Mm -hmm. uh, the I have a mod where oh, item quality three or higher, you start pogging. I see. Um, I would take this or here. Actually, we can take items at the same time on three. Hold down. All right. All right. One. Wait for. Wait. 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 Wait for the internet to be good. Okay. Right. Ready. Here. Um. W when it hits 17 minutes on the timer. Okay. Sounds good. Just start running down. Or wait. Okay. Wait. Wait. You know what? Trade me places. Trade me places. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make sure the better. Because actually, my item. My item is better for me, and that one's better for you. Okay. Um. At 17 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay. 15 seconds. We can do this. Oh, so close. Oh, almost. It's okay. My, I, I, I'm fine without that item. Oh, I get three little ID thingies? So oh. you have a thing that shoots like four slowing shots, and if you take damage, you will have a spider come out and do a lot of damage. Okay, cool. This is the item you had last time we did things. Less right? I remember you. No, being able we to we didn't get that item. Oh jeez. Uh, where's the last switch? Not in here. Oh god. Can't slow these uh, ghosties down, can we? No. Oh god. The internet. Don't enter another room! Okay. Well, I'm gonna enter a room we've been in. That's fine. Currently, I can't see what's currently going on in the screen at all. The internet is just completely taking a... There we go. Okay, Do that's you... fine. Oh, you good? Almost. No, back to the red. Okay. One moment. Yeah, it's going bad. It's going fine. Nux must be back on whatever Discord call. <laughs> Let's see. Do you need to reconnect? Yeah. Let me quickly pause the recording and see if that will help. Because it helped last okay. time. Well, no fixing that. So we're just going to have to keep on going. Oh no. And hope that I don't die. You got HP. It'll be fine. Yeah, you're just going to have to explain... Tell me which direction to shoot, because I don't know. <laughs> oh no. What I do you see I'm on your end? I think I lost my head. Yeah, you lost your head. Jesus, what is going on? Okay. It's almost getting back there. I'm almost also dead again. What happened to my head? What keeps happening to it? When you take damage, your head turns into that spider, which will automatically try and, like, jump on enemies and okay. do damage. Oh shit, my bad. You're good.
Okay. Do not know where the final switch is. Jesus is bad. Okay, where is the switch? Uh, come up here. Alright, <laughs> tell me the direction to go up. Where the heck is this? So it's not in here, right? It's not in there. And it's not in here. It's not in there. I don't think it was in here. Um, I don't think... Was in here. We got the item room. Whoops. <laughs> so let's see. We got that one there. That one in there. Did we hit all of them? No way, right? Well, you said there was two. Well, there's about there's three. Uh, oh, well, yeah, we've got all of them. Okay. So I'm gonna exploit you for this because you have flight and I don't. Okay, good. Good idea, uh, considering I don't know what direction I'm going in any general direction. You're pretty much just uh, gonna try and run for the exit once we spawn something. Okay, just tell me the direction to go. So let's see... Uh... And maybe this wasn't a great idea. No, but it is an idea. Wait, don't grab that item. I need to grab it, otherwise it can kind of glitch. Okay, I see something. Alright. Um, Leave... Run through the door. Keep just running to the exit. That's literally all you need to do. You can fly over stuff and I can't. Run to the exits. Okay, well thank god you I remember. You gotta leave me there. Whew! Did we do it? Yep, we did it. We got the we got the knife. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> you That's like that? how you get it the easy way. You just play someone who who can fly naturally. Here, I'll run in here real quick. Ooh. Ow, am I getting hit? Yes, I am. You were you sitting right in the curse. You should have really doorway. fucking told me you were going inside a door. I. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was obvious. What do you mean he thought it was obvious? Did you forget that I'm not? <laughs> I said, hey, I'm gonna go into the curse room real quick. <laughs> what more do you want from me? I, maybe a little bit more. Headway to the guy who's not 100% sure what room he's in in general. It's great oh, because- Oh no, Al Alabaster Box. My worst enemy. Oh God, you can take this card over here if you want. It'll oh, we'll give you invincibility us. and contact damage. Alright, that's good. The second I can tell where I am. Okay, I think <laughs> I'm up there. Going down here. It's going to be very vicarious as I try not to buy something by accident. We don't have enough money to buy anything else. Oh, really? Oh, well, except for the key. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Did I make it? Yeah, you got it. Do I have it? Yeah, you have it. Okay, sweet. Now, when to activate it? Uh, you can activate it in the boss room. For six seconds, I think, you will be invincible and do contact damage. Okay, right here at the start. Don't do it right here at the start. Do it when enemies start showing there. It's hard for you because it's apparently Yeah, really you tell laggy. me when the enemy starts showing up, I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd go ahead, why not? No, it's fine. Uh, the internet got stable. Oh shit, I activated it. No, that was fine. Oh, so you Just don't go damage yell him. at everyone in the house to get off the internet. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work out. So just Nux, and then he'll be like, no. <laughs> Go ahead, me. Nux you... has no respect for the filming of this I'm... wonderful video. He does not. Well, to be fair, when he did show up, he was during a practice run, and he, I, I told him specifically, it's not a video. And then he probably <laughs> took it as, okay, that means I can do whatever. 
Did the blue spiders <laughs> hurt us? No, the blue spiders and blue flies are both friendly. Okay, good. Cause I was about I was trying to kill that spider. Did I die? Yes, I did. It's okay. In death, I am much stronger. <laughs> You're free. I am free to stop caring. Where the heck are these ghosts on it? There we go. Did I take the item by accident? No. Okay, good. It has to be a hard uh, one for me. So wait. Stop the side, I need that. Okay, well, here, one sec. We're gonna go to the double deal, and neither of these are super amazing. What heart do I need to give them? Uh, don't take either, honestly. They're not amazing. I don't think I could even pay for it. You could, but you would die. <laughs> What's the difference from my basic everyday life? <laughs> This is yeah. not an amazing run, but <laughs> it is what it is. I think we can bait it. With the power of my throwing up in your face and Choco Milk, I think we have this. Uh oh. Well, there it goes. Go, Spider Me. Do what I can. Oh god, I lost Spider Me. You didn't see that because I didn't see it, but I epically dodged that guy. So what does the knife give you, by the way? Uh, we needed to open another alt path. Bro bomb, not in this house. Bring it on, fuckers. I'm already dead. What are you gonna do to me? Die again. I'm like Mad Max, I live, I die, I repeat. <laughs> I've only seen Fury Road. Most people Which have was a seen. really good movie. You should So actually, I was at a sleepover with some friends, right? Yeah. And we had put on the original Mad Max, but all we did was started like nitpicking and making fun of it. <laughs> so yeah, the original one you have to remember is uh, the oldest of all of them. It's crazy, yeah. but not, but in a very different way. Like when that guy starts in the beginning, go like, "This is the Night Rider!" Wow, and he's like doing all the crazy stuff. It's like a, it's like a different experience. You have to be in a different headspace to truly appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, now, well, we were teenagers at a sleepover. We were in the complete you, opposite headspace. You weren't ready for 70 style slow cinema. <laughs> You weren't ready no. for. You weren't ready for the amazing Australian accent of uh, uh, Mel Gibson. We were not ready for that. That's why you gotta start with Road Warrior, and you have to hear his mortal line. I'll drive that tanka. I just got fucking whipped. I need about thirteen guys of gasoline. Give me all of that I can carry. Road uh... Warrior is great. The only bad one is the third one, and even I enjoy it. What is happening here? I was activating some cards. You got big, by the way. Yeah. I'm a big boy. Very big. And there's Greed looking to fuck my day up. What? Don't worry, I will occasionally get him. <laughs> He's dead already. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, the watching Fury Road in a theater is an experience. Well, I watched it at home, but it was still really good. That, um, the desert scene in a big ass theater with people who have never seen it. <laughs> so you're just like all experiencing the same awesome shit at the same time. Those are the the best experiences I had in theaters. Is when Man, no one knows I what to expect. I miss the theater experience now. Yeah, now that you really can't go. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't miss the uh, prices for soda and popcorn. No, that that part still sucks. That's why the movie theater business is already 
in bad shape, but you know, when you but get a man, good movie just experience. Going with friends, watching movies together. Yeah. And I would, I would, I was the type of dude who would just go there to if I by myself if um, before um, Nux and my sister Yaoi started to actually like watch movies, I would just go by myself and watch it. So that's how I ended up watching Mad Max. I went with a friend to go see. Um, you can take that one. The raid. And you're pogging, heck yeah. Hell yeah. He but was yeah, pogging. The, uh, the raid redemption and um, the Fury Road were two of my favorite experiences in a theater. Fury Road had a buttload of people just all experiencing the madness that was happening with all the cool shit. The raid, we were in a tiny indie theater with like six other dudes, and every single dude there was like going, What the fuck? This is amazing! <laughs> I haven't had a lot of the theater experiences that had like cool reactions or anything, but my I think my most memorable one was John Wick 2, if you remember the pencil scene. Yes, I do. Yeah, that got a great reaction. Yeah, <laughs> I oh, loved my bad. it. No, you're good. And then uh, the like first fight of three, whenever his time runs out. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Yeah, this I. I gotta ask, what do you think about there being a fourth? And I think they even said there was a fifth coming. I mean, it makes sense. I like Keanu Reeves to keep working, and those movies are pretty cool. I think I they enjoy are the movies. I just, I'm worried it's gonna like, you know, overstay its welcome. No, I feel like it already probably has. But at the same time, as I, long as the I action, I think with did. three it has. If it ended at three, I think it would have been a perfect like kind of thing. Yeah, but um... it did not. It, it it's kind of one of those things where I really do like watching all of it and I kind of like the world they build I just sometimes some of the like extended weird lore of it is the part where I go like oh. okay <laughs> so I have Jesus. quad shot now that is huge I'm gonna be doing some massive damage I also want them to continue the trend of just oh, John don't, Wick don't hold the fire button please me? yeah you were causing those odd the My trick bad. with those eyes that were in the room is if you're shooting, they will move. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that I could. Have, I was having negative consequences. Um, but I wanted to keep the trend of just John Wick fighting weird final dudes as like the final action <laughs> thing. Like he fought the dude from yeah. Iron Chef at the end of three. And that <laughs> was. I didn't even realize until my friends pointed out that I was like. Bro, that's the dude from Iron Chef. And then I looked it up and I was like, holy shit, it's the, the dude, dude from, from Iron Chef. Chef. <laughs> like, that that's was what... MF that was revealing all the secret ingredients. It was him. Yeah, I want that style of, like, like it's a shame that Anthony Bourdain has passed away. Because if it's possible, I would love John Wick to fight Anthony Bourdain at the end. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll okay. gladly keep watching him. I'll keep know. watching him. I just I'm I'm worried they're gonna do like a really dumb like story now. Yeah. They already kinda have. It, at a certain point it's just gonna get completely out of the way. You already got Martin not Martin Lawrence. That would be a completely different movie. Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> and you have the weird guy from every comedy series that plays the crazy guy. Ooh, saying TikTok. Second guppy item. TikTok, Mr. Wick, your time is running out. Oh god. The connection has gone full on down. But it seems like I, you're doing I'd fun. imagine since I have some really dumb tier effects. Okay, that okay, it might be also the fact that you're doing some crazy shit. Well yeah, that's what I'm saying, the wacky tier effects. I have a constant barrage of lasers. All right, there's Mom's foot. Um, the last movie experience, just because on the on the side of bad movie experiences, um, when Joker was coming out, um, we went to I think it was basically a midnight screening of it. And I think at that time people were kind of afraid of what could happen because, you know, it was a scary time in theaters at the time because people were yeah. I remember things. that, yeah. yeah. So, when we went to go see it, there was a dude that was high off his mind, literally to the side of us, just constantly moving. And it was like, dude, <laughs> come on. 
I died. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't even know yeah. I'd come back alive, but it's fine. There's just too much shit happening on the screen for my internet to handle it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that was great, and my sister had to eventually kind of yell at him, and he was like, what? And I think like an hour and 30 minutes in, he's like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> he's just completely out of it. And I was like, you could have not have picked a worse time to... Did I accidentally go inside? Please tell me no. Okay, thank God. Could not pick a worse time to... <laughs> but yeah, that's basically American cinema, and... The theater-going experience, I wouldn't really trade it for anything else. I always get creeped out by English people who are like, What do you guys do in theaters? He's like, We just are quiet and watch the movie. And I'm like, That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> if I wanted to quietly just watch a movie, from movie, then I would just watch it at home by myself. Man, oh, I'm actually like one hit away from death now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Perfect. You I was going to say... My most recent quote-unquote movie experience was, uh, I had my friends over for Memorial Day weekend on Saturday. And I was gonna have, like, we went we went to get lunch, I was gonna have them over, we played some board games, uh, and they wanted to watch a movie, and I'm not the biggest movie guy. So I was like, here, I'm gonna, I, I was gonna make chicken tenders for them, so I was like, I'll cook the tenders, I'll fry them up, and, you know, prep them. And they can uh, watch a movie. They decide to watch Tenet. Oh, that is a. Uh... I am sure, as you already know, that movie is very confusing. Yes, it is extremely now, confusing. Now imagine it for a guy who every few minutes is coming in to and sees very certain scenes, <laughs> and not the entire movie. Yeah, the confusing nature of it is what has actually prevented me from I just, watching I it. came over, and I just saw, like, r explosions in reverse, and I was like, hey, what is this? Yeah, good luck trying to have anyone explain. I think that was one of the things, and it was great. Actually, it's bad, but um, the director of it, who I'm forgetting the name of at the moment, even though he's Christopher Nolan, there you go. When yeah. Tenet was coming out, he was one of those dudes who was like, no, you have to watch it in a theater. He's like, there's a full-on-ass pandemic going on. He's like, no, we need to, people need to see it in theater. And then <laughs> all the reviews for it were like, not worth going to the theaters to, understa to understand it. And I was like, all right, Nolan. I was so annoyed with him with all that. Because it was literally during the worst time in California for you out to be out there in a pandemic. Yeah, I'm sure. And he, and he was just like, no, go watch my movie. I'm the guy who made the Batman movie everyone likes. And some <laughs> other movies. That's discounting yeah. him, but whatever. I'm still angry at him. <laughs> for You're prob Someone in the comments is going to hate me for this. I have not seen any of the Dark Knights. Really? Yeah. Well, can, well, they're gonna hate me for this. You can skip Batman Begins. Just watch the second one and don't watch any of the other ones. Well, I'm just saying of like the Dark Knight trilogy, I have not seen any of them. I don't know a bat. I can't remember the last Batman movie I saw. Uh, Batman and Robin. You know what? It was probably Batman vs Superman. Really? And before really? that, yes. I don't remember. Martha. You know I what, like I'm gonna come out and say it. I didn't think that movie was that bad. No, it's not. I, re I actually really like it. <laughs> I, I, had, the... I had a decent time with it. I'm, I'm Everyone who fucking hates that movie on the internet, and I'm like, it was fine. It's because like, they too... It wasn't amazing. No, it wasn't amazing, but it was perfectly fine. It's kind of like one of those things where I also feel a lot about Marvel movies where people will like hype up Marvel movies and then they're good. But they're just good. And they're not anything yeah. else. And then, like, you have to wait, like, a month for them to go, like, oh, man, actually, parts of this kind of suck. And I'm like, god damn it. What the f why can't you ever, <laughs> like, find a middle ground? What is this guy, by the way? <laughs> Took people years to realize Age of Ultron was very meh. Oh, my god. I, did, I, had, I have a co-worker and a friend who will constantly fight me and say that Age of Ultron is good, and I'm just like, you... That was the movie you, that broke... You, you can die on that hill. 
alone. You can die on that hill alone because I will not support you in this one. I hate that movie so much. It um, is not a great movie. It is not. It is you know by what? Definition. If we're going to talk about other Marvel takes, uh, Civil War is an Avengers movie in everything except the name. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, think people, been... I think people do realize that one, but damn. Yeah, no. You know how bad Age of Ultron is? It ruined Justice League. <laughs> oh, that was no. the whole reason that uh, Joss Whedon said, like, I will direct this movie is because everyone was talking shit on Age of Ultron. He's like, whatever, let me have another chance. And that's why there's the same shitty joke in Age of Ultron that is in um, Justice League where some dude runs into a woman's chest like it's an anime. Oh, no. I think it's Wonder Woman and Flash and his cut of Justice League. And it's like, I why? haven't seen either cut of Justice League. I haven't had time because it's like I don't have four hours of my life to dedicate to <laughs> yeah. a superhero movie. To the at Snyder the cut? No. At some point, I will. I like. I, like I, Snyder. I had a friend who, uh, well, he changed his major recently because he wanted something more practical. But he was a screenwriting major. Oh. Or, yeah, screenplay writing major. I mean, that and... is the most practical thing you can be. <laughs> Because that's what happens to a lot of people when they don't become directors, is that they go, well, let me do some screenwriting real quick. Yeah, Because <laughs> it's well, easier to get stuff adapted than it is for you, for someone to give you the money to adapt your thing. Yeah, he, uh... I think he was looking at just trying to see if there is, like, anyone from, like, our alumni that, uh... Had, you know, been, mm -hmm. like, in involved in, like, film, like, at all. And there just wasn't. There is, I there is, I think, less than like five people. It happens. It's not an easy industry. But what you were saying, yeah. you were switching it, and what was the reason? Hey, I think he just wanted something that would probably benefit him more long term. He's going for a general like business IT degree. Well, that is more practical than that. It's a shame, but it's true. Yeah. As someone with uh, a degree in both, though, let me tell you, it still sucks either way. <laughs> There's no. I kind of uh, feel bad because he kind of somewhat gave up on the thing he really liked. Uh, that's to what. Be practical. It's a, lot, it's a lot. A lot of that is though. It's I got hard... kind of lucky that the thing I like is IT. Oh yeah. Well, that's what you want. Is that the thing you like is actually something that's fairly useful to i guess it's the worth of it is seen by all yeah it's not something that you can fall back on or not something that you so can fall i back on, but... so i have uh half a heart going into the final boss <laughs> i believe in you man you got half a heart and you got me we're gonna get this done as soon as i fucking finish my charge how do you do this oh i see Ooh, damage up i'll take it please give me the hierophant that is not the hierophant I have like the most broken card in the game, mm -hmm. but I'm still worried I'm gonna lose. So the reverse, so big thing with Repentance is they added the reverse cards, reverse tarot cards. Mm -hmm. The reverse strength card makes, it doubles your damage for the entire room and makes the enemy permanently slowed. Whoa. And I just died. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the bright side is that people can now see this amazing screen. When is he gonna? Is, it kicks in eventually, right? It's gone now. There he is. You might have to like edit that part. Yeah, I might have to cut that part and just increase the uh, volume. Yeah, maybe. I'll see what it's I can do. It's so good. It is very good. And I think that's uh, that's about it for what we got. Thank you, uh, yeah. Toast, for joining in for a good old time. Even though I yeah. by the half end of it, it unfortunately broke and I couldn't tell what was going on. <laughs> yeah. If people were ever wondering how come Wogi doesn't play with everyone else, it's because uh the internet here sucks and if you can't hear it in the background there's people yelling constantly <laughs> it super sucks 
but thank you very much for watching it all the way to the end if you made it this far uh, thank you Wokey, for having me <laughs> anytime i'll glad maybe next time you will we'll just do that thing we talked about where you watch me play isaac and we'll see yeah. how it goes there we'll um, see how that one goes and then of course we have to get in and watch nux play flying gorilla at some point <laughs> heck yeah just I crowd in, figure it out. He can be from over his computer. I have no idea how he plays Flying Gorilla. If it's on his phone or if it's just in the atmosphere in general, I don't know. <laughs> I'm half convinced it's not a real game. It is just something that he has videos on. That would be the biggest twist. It would be. But anyway, thank you very much, everyone. Say goodbye. Here, I'll say I'll say it real quick. You got it. Any any of my old Twitter homies out there, if you don't have me added on Discord and want to, uh, comment and Wokey will probably give you my Discord info somehow. There you go. I'll figure out a way to do that. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> love. Goodbye, everyone. Till next time. Peace. Peace.